Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys an updated filming setup situation because it has changed a lot, a lot since I last like updated you guys on what I use and what everything looks like. So I'm gonna show you guys now. And I figured I might as well do like a little slightly updated room tour because my room has changed, a, not a lot, but a little bit, and I feel like why not add this all into one video? So let's get started. Okay, so when you first walk in, this is what you see uh, from my door. And so I'm gonna start with my filming setup here. I did incorporate backdrops into my videos now so that my videos look a little bit more just kind of like put together. I felt like, I felt like this wall is, it's very textured and I didn't like that you can see the texture in the videos. And I also just wanted something, I wanted to, you know, switch up colors and make it look just a little bit more put together, more polished. So I did get backdrops. I bought these from Savage. They're like the Savage backdrop paper and I got it from Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys to check it out. Uh, but yeah, I just cut it out to what I, the like, amount that I needed and put it on my taped it on my wall and I also have this light here I got it from Amazon I will link it for you guys in the description box this light the sole purpose of this light is to basically just light up the background of my videos so it kind of illuminates behind me so that you know it just has some dimension in the backdrop and it doesn't look too too flat you know but yeah, I love that light for that. It also changes colors, which is what I really like. I'll show you guys really quick. So not only is it white, but I can change it to, oops, I turned it off. I can change it to a different color. So you can see it's pink right now, but I can change it to any other color. This is mainly why I got it, not only for the backdrop, but I love that it changes colors because if I change the backdrop color, I can also like incorporate a different light on it, like a different light color, which is really nice. And I can also like, of course, change the brightness of this. Um, it also has a flashing setting as well but yeah so that light is so nice so useful and i love that it changes colors as well and then i also have this little mic i started to use like better quality um audio i used to use audio through my camera but now i use it through here so that it sounds a little bit more crisp more put together so i got this um this was actually given to me so i'm not sure where to find it but it looks like it's like a zoom zoom something but yeah so i'll try to look it up for you guys so that you guys can check it out but yeah i got this and this is actually connected to this mic so i also use this to help um so i think that just helps record i think it's a mic itself i'm not i think it's actually a mic too but i think also it helps record the data because there's a chip in there but yes yeah, so this is the mic that i talk into that it sits right above my head when i'm sitting here and i'll try to find where i got this as well this was also given to me and then here i have my desk slash like makeup storage these are two alex drawers on this side here from ikea and they are useful i do like them i feel like they are good for my space for what my space is right now because my you know i do live in a like a four bedroom um, house and I have roommates. So this is like my only space that I have to put all of this stuff. So yeah, I didn't want anything too big, but I feel like I am running out of space slowly but surely with makeup. But yeah, so I have all of my makeup in these drawers here. And on the top here are just like stuff that I have laid out for filming and or or if I just want to do my makeup then I have it here for me. I also use my ring light still. So this is the ring light that was in my first video. But it just doesn't light up as much as I would like it to. So I do have other lights here on the side that help me light everything up. So this is actually by Newer and I'm sure you can get this on Amazon as well. And um... So yeah, these help a ton, these little panels here. The more light, the merrier. When I'm also filming, I use the lights that are in my ceiling to help me 
add more light to uh, my videos as well or in pictures. I also use this camera. So last time you guys saw this video, I actually was, I think I was still using my Canon T5i and I actually was still using this lens though with a T5i, which I think this is the 18 to 55 milliliter lens with Canon. Um, but at the moment I am using the Canon Rebel SL3 camera with my 18 to 55 milliliter lens. So this is currently what I'm using right now. And yeah, I like that camera a lot. It's, it's definitely doing the job. Here is my other light. And yeah, so you can see it, it lights up this area really, really well. I honestly feel like I could use one more good like panel light right here, like in the center maybe, because I do struggle with the lighting looking just a little dim sometimes. It really just depends, but yeah, this is my little like filming setup here. It does the job. I'm so proud of it. I feel like my content is getting better and better um, each year and I'm starting to take it more seriously because I definitely want it to look more presentable and just more um, kind of, you know, put together and sleek. So I really like where it's going. I'm gonna turn all these off. And now also I do have other backdrops here. So these are just other colors that I have. So, you know, I have the pink, I have the blue, and then I also have this purple, which I have not tried the purple yet. Um, but these are all from Savage, the where where I got these backdrop paper backdrops, and I got them from Amazon. Uh, also, I did buy like a long time ago, um, like fabric backdrops, but they just weren't working because you could tell it was fabric. Um, my setup is just really close to my wall. Um, there's really no space, uh, you know, between me sitting here in the wall, which is what you, I feel like you kind of need if you use fabric. Uh, but paper does much better, I feel, if you are working with a tight space because you can't really tell it's paper when, on video. Especially like with this light, it just adds dimension to the backdrop and makes it not look as flat. So it just looks much better than fabric to me. I feel, I feel like fabric would work best if you have more space between you and your wall. But me, I don't really have that option because my room is like very small and I'm trying to make use out of every corner I have. So uh, the paper definitely does a better job with that. Um, so that's like a little tip for me. But yeah, this is pretty much all I use, guys. As far as like video editing, I use Final Cut Pro to uh, video edit. And uh, as far as pictures, I just edit on... Um, my phone honestly I just use visco I can do a separate video on how I edit pictures if you guys would like but yeah so that's about it um, as far as like equipment goes uh, but as far as my room this is my room guys so on this side over here we have you know my tv and my fan I actually got this tv uh, gifted by my mom because I needed a new TV anyway and my old TV was not working in my room back home in Sacramento and so she was like oh I'll get you a new TV and then by the time she did get me one I was moving so she's like perfect timing and then I'm like saying irrelevant things that don't really matter but anyways and then I got this like uh when I moved here I got this um what is this called like a tv stand kind of got this from Ikea it's really nice like simple I wanted something to help my tv you know be higher because my bed is higher um and then I have my ds or no not ds what's it called my nintendo switch I used to have a ds um and then I have these books here I have face paint which is about makeup and then I have that Kylie uh, like product magazine there and then I have this game called what is it called um we're not really strangers which is a really good game to play with people um, if you wanted to like get to know them more and stuff and then i have this lighter i use that for my candle if i want to kind of you know burn my candle in my room make it smell good i have my fan because it gets really hot in here some days in the summer 
And then down here I have some like little baskets. I got these from Target. Uh, these are solely for giveaway products. So as soon as these baskets fill up, I will be sure to send off and do giveaways and all that good stuff for you guys. So yeah, stay tuned for that because as you can see, some good products are filling up in here. And if you guys want them, be sure to stay tuned for giveaways. This is my bed. I love this bed so much, like the bed frame, it's, I love it. I got it from Ikea. <laughs> There's a trend here. Ikea is just really good for, you know, if you're looking for something not too expensive, but also, you know, you're maybe like a college student or like you're moving out for the first time and you don't want like expensive furniture. I feel like Ikea is always good for that. But yeah, I think it's called the Malm bed frame. <laughs> and so this is what it looks like. And yeah, I got my covers from Target. I have this laptop bag from Kate Spade. My planners and notebooks there, I usually keep there. Um, and then I have my MacBook. I recently got the MacBook Pro, the 14 inch, the new one that they have. So, yeah, I really love this so far. I needed a, an upgrade a little bit, but just to have more space on my computer since I'm editing more seriously. I got this case from Amazon, which I really like the case because it's just so simple but cute without being like too much, you know? But yeah, I got that from case from Amazon. I have this nightstand. I don't know, I don't remember where this nightstand is from. I feel like it's probably from Wayfair or like Overstock but a long time ago but um yeah it's my nightstand here next to my bed and i have my apple watch my tv remote my i always have water and then my candle i have just napkins and um this is like candy here i have just mail and then my mask hat i got this at dave and buster's i think it was even yeah dave and buster's and then this light is so cool, guys. I'll try to find like a story, like an Instagram story of what this looks like, but this light is so cool. I have my coach bag. I did recently purchase this. I'm so happy with it, guys. It's such a good everyday bag that you can dress up or dress down. I will be doing a what's in my bag video today as well, so I'll have that edited for you guys soon. And then I have this little bookshelf here this is actually what i recently added to my room as well before i get into that this is just a space heater i don't have air conditioning or a heater in this house so i definitely need this because some days it gets really cold or nights you know so i use that but yeah the bookshelf so here i have on top just like these random pins from brands and I have this like fake plant from Target that was really cute. I do want a plant one day, but I feel like I, I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with it. But we'll see. And then I have this um, MacBook Pro box. It's actually from the new one. And then I have my old MacBook here. I'm gonna sell this one. I just had not put in the effort to do that one that yet, but I'm gonna sell it. And then I have my pajamas here for what I'm gonna wear later tonight um i normally don't do that but i just put them here because i didn't feel like putting them away if i'm gonna wear them anyway but yeah so i have that there and i actually got this little plant maker i think it is uh from ardell lashes they ardell sent this in their pr and so i was like okay i'll try it you know because i like i said i'm not really good i don't think i'll be good with plants but i'm gonna try since it was sent to me and then here i have pictures of uh, me, my sister Corey, my sister Africa, my my mom, and me uh, taking pictures together. And this is my friend Alani. And oh, don't pay attention to that one. <laughs> and yeah, so then I have my backdrops here. I got this a little basket from IKEA as well to hold those. Um, I plan to get more, of course, but I just have those three colors for now. And on the first shelf here, I have my Canon camera. I thought this first section would be cute to be like a little tech section. So these are like all the little tech things that I most likely will need to kind of grab. Well, this doesn't look very techy, but in this section, I have like just overflow of stuff. This is mainly why I got this bookshelf because I have been struggling with where to store my skincare because I don't have a lot of space 
uh, in my makeup storage. Finally have a space for them. And I got these baskets from, I think, Target. And these ba these little things here I got from Ikea. And then these Target. So this is a, like a little hair section. So I have some clips here. I have my clip and hair extensions here. Um, I have some other products that I'm interested in trying as well. And my blow dryer is in here. And then in this side, it's just mainly skincare. So I have um, a lot of stuff that I'm wanting to try. Also, these I really love, guys. These are like really strong pimple patches. They work really, really good. They last all night. Like... I struggle with fighting pimple patches that actually stay on my face when I'm sleeping and these ones actually stay. So I recommend trying those and I feel like my pimples always go away faster when I use pimple patches. This is like my little makeup section. It's not too big, it's just an extra brush case. I have my Sigma brush cleaner here um, as well as this like soap bar brush cleaner. My sponges are in here, more sponges are in here. And then I have an extra pack of makeup wipes and then on the very last shelf this is just a random little <laughs> section honestly but it mainly has a glasses case from desi sunglasses and then i have my like coloring pencils in here i have this paint i have scissors and white out right here so very random stuff and then i have some books so i have like, my drawing book my notebook um, another notebook this has like coloring pencils in here i have this book the one minute happiness journal where you're supposed to like write in it every day but i have not been doing that and then down here i normally would also have you know my notebooks right there i would normally have it here and yeah and then i usually keep my crocs out because i always am wearing my crocs around the house and then I have my work shoes. My closet is really overflowing right now as well with storage. So I'm trying to, I'm thinking about getting like maybe like a little shelf for my shoes here that I can fit in here so that I'm not like having to stack them on top of each other. For now, that's what it's looking like. So I hope this video was helpful, giving you guys some insight on what i use to film my videos since it is a little bit different now i will be glad to film my video of how i edit my pictures i feel like i feel like it is a little bit different than how i used to edit them so i can definitely show you show you guys a video about that soon but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye